top of the morning to you. It is Monday, March 14th, 2022. Our morning reading for today. Did you know? Did you know that there is a pretty interesting holiday that is coming up this week and is celebrated by some of our staff members? Do you have any guesses? Christmas? Fourth of July? Halloween? New Year's Day? Labor Day? Memorial Day? April Fool's Day? Well, based on this grain, I say... Hmm. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Today's presentation, Giovanni Horn presents, that's me, it's Happy St. Patrick's Day. The presentation. Introduction. In honor of St. Patrick's Day, Judith, Soraya, and I have gone and done some background research on this festive holiday. You should expect some background knowledge, a quiz, and interviews with three of the Irish American teachers in the building. What is St. Patrick's Day? St. Patrick's Day is an Irish holiday that was created in the 1600s. It was created when the church established a feast day in honor of St. Patrick, who had been a patron saint of Ireland, who died in the 5th century. It took 12 centuries before the holiday had begun. Who is St. Patrick? St. Patrick was an Irish missionary and bishop. He was also known as the Apostle of Ireland. What made him so important was that he was given credit for bringing Christianity to some parts of Ireland, and he was one of the patron saints of Ireland. What is St. Patrick's Day? St. Patrick's Day be became a holiday because it was to celebrate the day of St. Patrick's arrival, and it was just to celebrate the Irish culture in general. A legend says that St. Patrick used the shamrock as an educational symbol to teach religion. How do we celebrate St. Patrick's Day? Many people celebrate St. Patrick's Day in their own way, but the way some people celebrate it, it is by a St. Patrick's Day parade, special types of food, including the cor including corned beef and cabbage, and wearing a whole lot of green. And in the city of Chicago, they even dye the river green each year. Dye the river green? Dye the dye river, river green. green. Hmm. Go green, as they say. I want to dye myself green. <laughs> Recap quiz. Here are the rules. Number one, share with your classmates. Number two, you got to change your answer. Number three, you cannot rewind the video. Number four, have fun. Here we go! Question one. What was your shamrock used for? A, good luck. B, bad luck. C, to make you smarter. D, educational purposes. And the answer is... D, educational purposes. That's kind of weird, right? Question two, finish this sentence. Blank Patrick's blank. A, Patrick Star. B, my dog. C, Saint Month. D, Saint Day. And the answer is D, Saint Day. Or the whole sentence is Saint Patrick's Day. Question three. After St. Patrick served, after St. Patrick served, what culture did he bring back with him? A. Judaism. B. Christianity. And the answer is A. Judaism. Oops, my bad. B. Christianity. Question four: What foods do you eat on St. Patrick's Day? A. Beef, corn, and lettuce. <laughs> B. Turkey and greens. C, you fried chicken and corn, or D, corned beef and cabbage. And the answer is C, fried chicken and corn. Well, at least, well, at least for me. D, corned beef and cabbage. Final question. What, what does the saint in St. Patrick's Day tell you what he was? A, he was a priest. B, he was an angel. C, he was a missionary. Or D, he was a soldier. And the answer is C, he was a missionary. Miss Hatcher's Irish roots. Kathleen Fitzgerald Hatcher began 
being Irish says that being Irish means to her where her family came from. And they celebrate family, faith, and friends. She grew up with her Irish roots by celebrating her Irish heritage when she was just a kid. She would never have school on St. Patrick's Day. To her, St. Patrick's Day means to celebrate her heritage. Her and her family also went to, and still go to a parade. Her entire family is Irish. One of her favorite things about being Irish is the music, family, and culture. Miss Lysinger's Irish roots. Maureen McKenney Lysinger says that being Irish to her means to her is learning about her ancestors and her culture. She grew up with Irish American and German roots. St. Patrick's Day means for her that to celebrate everything and everyone Irish. She has Irish family members and relatives in Ireland. For her, being Irish means respecting her heritage and honoring her ancestors. On St. Patrick's Day, she likes to celebrate by eating corned beef, cabbage, and Irish soda bread. What's soda bread? I have no idea. I've heard of 7-Up cake, but not soda bread. Miss hmm. Vinantonio's Irish roots. Tracy Vinantonio says being, uh, her means to, being Irish to her means to have an appreciation for her culture and to be lucky. She grew up with Irish, German, French, and English roots. To her, St. Patrick's Day means to her to celebrate the culture of Ireland. To be Irish means to celebrate who you are and your heritage. She celebrates her Irish culture by celebrating St. Patrick's Day, attending Irish events, and learning more about their culture. She celebrates St. Patrick's Day by cooking a nice meal and having fun. That's a lot of roots. Yeah. How do you be more than one root? How do you be? We'll explain it later. If I was a tree, I only have four roots. <laughs> Mini joke. Essential question. If you had good luck for one whole day, what would you do? Pause and share in five, four, three, two, one. And we're back. Song and dance. Did you notice the unique music that we played at the beginning of today's meeting? It's an Irish song. Why don't we watch some Irish dancing? In another five, four, three, two, one. And we're back a second time. Recommended by Nakanachni. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Today, I'm going to be telling you about an author who writes books that are always based on some true details from her life. The author's name is Patricia Polacco. She was born in Lansing, Michigan in 1944. She had a reading disability growing up and students in school teased her, but she found happiness and success with her art. Ms. Polacco has written and illustrated over 60 books and she's won many awards. Her books are picture books with detailed, challenging words that are great for younger and older students. My favorite book by Patricia Polacco is titled Pink and Say, and it's about two young Civil War soldiers. Pink, a young African-American boy who with his family took care of a white soldier when he was injured and taught him a lot. I definitely recommend checking out this amazing book. It might even make you cry a little bit. I also want to say I was lucky once and I actually got to meet Patricia Polacco. She's a pretty amazing woman. All right, now back to our morning meeting team. February is students of the month. It's now time to celebrate. Pause and click on the link below in five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. And we're back a third time. February is students of the month. Congratulations, scholars. Your pizza party is coming soon. What's happening at Bethune? Now let's find out what else is going on at Bethune this week. Spirit Day. 
This Thursday, March 17th, is Bethune Spear Day. In honor of our Irish staff members and students, we'll be wearing green for St. Patrick's Day. Show your spirit this for Thursday. Kindness Challenge. Are you being kind? Remember, during the month of March, we'll be picking 25 students to win an ice cream party for being kind. Keep earning those kindness coupons. I'm not normally a nice person, but I will be kind for ice cream. Yeah, same. One School, One Book. We are now beginning our third week of our spring 2022 One School, One Book program. What have you learned from this book so far? So far, I've learned about the struggles that him and his father, Langston and his father, had to go through when after his mom died. I learned about, like, how he will react to, like, moving to different cities and stuff. Now I learned that we get Jolly Ranchers every time we answer a question right about this book. <laughs> <laughs> Finding Langston. This week's schedule... The schedule for this week's reading is Monday, chapter 11, Tuesday, chapter 12, Wednesday, chapter 13, Thursday, chapter 14, Friday, chapter 15. Don't forget, you should read with your family, with your class each day and with your families at home. You can also find the chapters recorded on Bethune's YouTube page. End of third quarter. This is the last week of third quarter. Wow, that went by fast. Do your best to make sure you submitted all your assignments. Mm. Oh, snap. I better go look back at the grades. Dancing classrooms. This Friday, our sixth grade will be holding their dancing classroom final program. We are so proud of you. Metro Health Bus. The Metro Health Bus will be here this Wednesday, the 3rd, 3-16-22, for the health service appointment. Bethune Superstars, it's time to celebrate our students and staff who are doing awesome things at Bethune. Here we go! This week's Superstars. Shout out to Ms. McCorvey for being a CMSB winner for the Heart Anniversary Photo Contest. Also shout out to Ms. McCorvey for being recognized for her work with the Kindman campaign. Shout out to Kamala Williams for playing nicely during recess. Shout out to Anthony Littlejohn for doing some coaching during basketball ga- during the basketball games during recess. Shout out to the Flying Octagons for winning last Tuesday's basketball game. Shout out to Austin Freerby and Jamar James for their work, also their amazing work to learning how to play the trumpet. We are so proud of you. Also, shout out to Giovanni and Judith for accompanying Austin's trumpet with the with playing on the drum. Oh, thanks. thanks! Shout out to Ms. Ledford for her hard work instructing the, our scholars on the trumpet. Shout out to Mr. Ely, Miss Bennett, and Miss McTeer for doing some extra coverage this past week. Also, shout out to Miss Woods for extra help she for the extra help she's been providing in room two hundred three. Shout out to Miss Hunter for always being for always using a rubric and providing feedback of her bulletin boards. This hard work does not go unnoticed. Shout out to our spe- shout out to our special educational teachers who are who are working hard to administer the alternate assessment. Keep up the great work. Shout out to our mediators for staying on top of mediation. Shout out to Miss Vincent and Miss Bruce who are establishing an after school cooking club. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I know I want to be in that club. Exactly. Shout out to Miss Willie for all the amazing artwork she has displayed around our school. Also, shout out to the students who are creating all of this artwork. Shout out to our one school, one book readers. You rock. Yes, that means you too, Mr. Rayback. And now, it's your favorite time of the week. Wait a minute. I decided we should skip this week's joke. But why? Joke of the week. I mean, I was going to tell you a joke about pizza, but I figured you'd think it was too cheesy. Uh, <laughs> no. Um, I think we may have had that joke before. Let's try another one. <laughs> Reverse. Did you hear the story about a magic sandwich? No. No. 
it was a bunch of baloney. Ah! <laughs> That's it for today. Do something amazingly impressive this week. Have an awesome, awesome. week. This is Giovanni. Adios, hippos. This is Giovanni. Judith. And Soraya. Saying peace, peace out. out. Is it weird that I want to tap dance right now? <laughs> River dance. River dance. Wasn't joking about dying myself green though.